16 gigabyte 5060 Ti's are now being rumored to be on the chopping block from NVIDIA. That is going to have huge impacts. If you remember back, they had to do some price cuts recently, and that was the 5060 Ti that had eight gigabytes on it. 16 gigabytes is ideal for a long-term purchase, which most people view their GPUs as long-term purchases. The 5060 Ti being rumored to be on the chopping block in the 16 gigabyte variant so that they can favor the eight gigabyte variant is going to be a catastrophic mistake for NVIDIA to make because nobody's gonna go and buy the eight gigabyte variant. You could see a stratification that happens out of this that is just going to not be beneficial to you. They still are in the near, but not at MSRP range. Uh, there's links down below to Walmart, Newegg, all these different retailers. This is gonna have a pretty predictable impact on people getting into local AI that have a mindset about buying a new GPU. There's a lot of people that like just straight up, they have to have new. They're not gonna buy a used GPU. If you are considering a getting into local AI, a 5060 Ti now is a pretty decent option. We've done several videos on them. You can check out the review video that we did on the 5060 Ti where we ran it through its paces very comprehensive rundown of the 5060 Ti and its capabilities. We also head to head compared it against the 9060 XT 16 gigabyte, both 16 gigabyte variants. The production of tokens, if you're looking just for chat on the 5060 Ti is not substantially faster than on the 9060 XT. However, if you want to do image generation or video generation, AMD really is not good for that. So definitely want to stick with the NVIDIA lineup. And honestly, 16 gigabytes is just barely eking it out. You're much better off going with a 24 gigabyte GPU in that scenario. The 3090s, 24 gigabytes, definitely still a at this price, at this time, $750, probably one of the best options out there. As we see a supply contraction on the new GPU side, there will probably be a surge in prices and sales on the use side. That's my anticipation. However, this is coupled at a time where there is substantially fewer system builders. So this may not be as big of an impact as some people. I anticipate this will be in your newsfeed. I'm usually a day or two early on most of the news that you're gonna see in a day or two. So let's, let's see if this happens. But the 5060 rumors, the 16 gigabyte being canceled, I anticipate there'll be some big channels talking about this because this is pretty big news and honestly, it's not gonna be viewed as like consumer friendly. So I think this will be a blowback point for a lot of people. But I would also say at this time, due to the insane prices of just system RAM, most people are not building. Like most people are not going out and spending 500, 600, $700 on a 64 gigabyte kit of DDR5. So like new builds are not necessarily happening. AM4 is where most people are trying to just make it eke out if they've got one, or they got lucky and they had already built out a system. Certainly, I think there is a lot changing, and I try to keep you guys a little bit ahead of the curve when it comes to GPUs and prices of GPUs. That's my quick take on it. I look forward to reading what your quick take is down below. Big hats off to everybody that is a Buy Me A Coffee, a Patreon, or one of the channel members. You can learn more about that in the description below. Will we get a super announcement at CES? I don't think it's happening. I'll say that right now. I think they should just go out and cancel it, honestly, and put an end to it right now if that's what's going to happen so people can plan accordingly, especially if they're about to cut the 5060 Ti. We are at a moment where definitely local AI has gained a massive amount of capabilities. It's really got a lot of inertia and it is very good. And maybe it's too good. Is that being conspiratorial or is that on point? You let me know in the comments below. Everybody, check out the videos that I've got here if you want to learn more about the 5060 Ti 16 gigabyte. And if you're looking to get up and running with local AI, check out the guide that I've got here.